scholarship in the United States, mm -hmm. in Europe, uh, more especially in UK, mm -hmm. and also in Africa, but you choose to go to an African university. We would want to know why, the reason why you make that choice, because most people like me and others would have chosen America or Europe. So what, what made you choose Africa? Yes, I, I think the answer is not very difficult. Um, in fact, it wasn't from me because the individual who proposed me with the scholarship mm. were the individuals that wrote that on their press release mm. that they gave me options and basically I rejected those offers. With a very simple fact, Africa for far too long have been relying on Western world for everything mm -hmm. and these things have not been working. When we see some parts of Africa doing extremely well, we need to celebrate them. When we need see ideas working in parts of Africa, we need to go and see what is happening. Basically, a master's degree is about research, is about finding, is about seeing things that work. And then you look at how you can create an own version for your own society and your community. I believe that Rwanda has success stories. They have a transformation. They have a good economy. Things have been set. And therefore, the Gambia needs a similar thing in order to register the development that we desire. I think Canada is too far to copy from mm -hmm. when we have countries within the African societies with similar realities and etc. that the Gambia has a lot to learn from. Hey, last year, your video trend online. But I know if he cash you that time, he give you scholarship and you say you are not going. So you don't want to go to Canada for school. Why? Well, um, education is about trust. Education is about the environment. It's about how you can use what you get about knowledge of your own society and how you can change it. I did a BSc in Development Studies from the University of the Gambia and I at least have an idea as to how it is important for one to acquire knowledge of your environment and how you can promote development from within. So I knew that I have a country that I use as a reference point which is Rwanda and I wanted to learn about the Rwandan development model. Just to remind you, Rwanda is one of those countries that was at zero in 1994. 1994, of, yeah. 1994 because of a genocide. And now they are one of the fastest growing countries in the world. Uh, Rwanda is from that's West the, Africa that's, or? That's in the East. East Africa. That's in East Africa. And Looking at countries like that, there are things that other African countries need to learn from them. So academic challenges an individual to learn from societies like this and how you can bring in solution to your own environment. And that is why I opt to go and do my master's degree in Rwanda. Wow, so you not like Canada? No. So why you not like them? Not for my education, as I'm just telling you. It's high time that Africans start to strengthen institutions in Africa and believe in that development cannot be imported. I can tell you this. Top intellectuals in Africa have studied in the highest universities in the world, but what have they brought first? So because of that one? So sometimes, yeah. if you're studying, you need an environment. If I walk down the streets in Africa, I see problems, I see solution to those problems. Yeah. If you are an individual studying agriculture in Canada, then you are given 
a vast area of land in Nigeria to practice what you have learned in Canada. In most situations, we failed because the environments are not the same. Okay. So that is very key in our trajectory, and it's high time for Africans to believe that there are good places in Africa, there are good institutions in Africa, and there is the need for Africa to value what it has. Wow. Okay. So your papa gave money. Are you from a rich family? I actually put her in pigeon because of my people. So, um, I I don't. Uh, I would like to answer from when you say whether my dad has money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, he doesn't. I do not come from a family that has money. I came from a family that has dignity, a family that has values, a family that is African. And a family that has put in me principles. Okay, because the reason why they ask, a lot of Africa, <laughs> they want the charge. You you understand what they mean? They want run, and you get scholarship. You say no, so because the environment there is different. Yeah, what did give you that mind? But let me tell you this. You know there exists the mainstream media sometimes. What we see on TV is not true. Today you will see a brother in America, you see a brother in Europe, a brother anywhere. Before, like 30 years ago, if someone traveled from Africa to America or to Europe, they take care of a whole family. Today, how many brothers will leave one family and go to Europe? They cannot even buy a bag of rice. It tells you that there is not good as it is pictured on TV. And that is the most unique thing that we have as Gambians. Like we interact with one another, we live with one another. It doesn't matter how big the family is. We say everything, no matter how little it is. And people are content with that. That even if things are going hard, you can still observe smiling faces under each and every person that you meet along the street. So that is a plus for everybody in the Gambia. And that is why I'm a proud Gambian and a proud African. And I believe I can make it. And I'm going nowhere. But in the Gambia, <laughs> nobody is going to do it for us. That's right. If we are all running away, you know, when are we gonna make it? We have to stay in Africa, develop in Africa, and then show to the world that Africa have a better image than the one they portray in the West. I think this is what we all need to do as Africans, and then we promote that as Pan Africans and also as Gambians. Excellent. I couldn't have said it better myself, actually. You know, I propose that you come and do some shows with me. This brother's got it going on. Yeah. But seriously, um, you know, I think that the, the, the misrepresentation of Africa um, has, wow, I, I mean, it permeated my brain. And I knew because I was coming from a Pan-African background, but still, you know, the images are forced upon us. So I think you young Gambians have a responsibility yeah. to show the other side of Gambia, the Gambia that, you know, we diasporians and many people in the West don't see. They just don't see it. Exactly. I think that is the work of the academics. That is the work that we need to do as young scholars. For far too long, people have been portraying Africa negatively to the outside world. And we know that that was done by individuals whose sole aim was to dominate Africa, to exploit Africa's resources, and then to continue to colonize us politically. Now, our role as academics, as young scholars, is how do we make sure that this picture is changed from the literature itself, going back to rewriting